Piping JB, coming at you with some Cobb foolery on Cobb Tuesday. We're gonna stain this old Missouri Meerschaum legend. Give it a nice little facelift. Get tired of looking at the yellow. I got some nice gunstock wood finish we're gonna use, and as long as you leave it to dry a couple days, you should be fine. Keep it away from the bowl, you shouldn't have any toxins or anything like that. We might even try baking it off. But just with a simple Q-tip, we're gonna paint that on and wipe it off repeatedly. It's probably about a five step process. Just get that gun stock on there, nice and even. And very little goes a long way. Now I'm using the plastered one, so it takes a little bit more to get it to stick, but that's fine, it, it keeps, the, uh, keeps the cob from absorbing too much of that stain and transferring into the bowl for that nasty taste. You don't want none of that. You want to live clean. But yeah, just as many coats as is needed and wipe off the excess. You don't want it built up soaking in there. That's when things go wrong. But they're so light colored it doesn't take a ton to get the job done. And just out of frame, I'm just wiping it off like we said. And overall, the first couple coats came out really nice. I wanted to go for a little bit darker, a little bit more noticeable change, so I hit it with some ebony stain. And that really gave it that darker Missouri Meerschaum look, which I really like. I'm always jealous of. Like I said, you get tired of looking at the yellow. So we just want to give it a little bit of character. Breathe new life. Then I use these silica packs just to kind of quicken the drying process. And you can see a nice before picture and a glorious after picture. Not a huge change, just a little bit of a facelift. Hope y'all enjoyed that. And thanks for watching Pipe and JB. Stay cool.